Hello from sunny coast or sunshine coast in Australia. Today in this video we have a special guest here with us, Francis, who's been enjoying this uh, beautiful solar farm in the background and uh, we're going to ask some questions. Uh, Francis, it's good to see you. Hello. Yeah, nice to come here to have an interest in my solar farm. Thank you very much <laughs> for having us. Okay, so <clears throat> that's a 27 kilowatt solar farm on three phase. So I got 10 kilowatt on the first two phase and 20 kilowatt on the on the back because uh, I was only allowed to have uh, 30 kilowatt, but I already, already had two and a half on the roof. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, yes, and I uh, end up with 27 kilowatt. I got uh, 35 kilowatt of uh, panel. It's good to have by 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 having uh, uh, 27 kilowatt of of inverter on 27 kilowatt of panel you get a, a output ratio of 4, 4.2 times. That means at the end of the day, if it rain or, or shine, the average over the year is 4.2 times the inverter. Mm -hmm. You multiply 27 by 4.2 times. Now, by adding more panel, which brings you 25% more panel, or more, you can put as many panels you want, let's say uh, 18 or so, but it doesn't get uh, economical. <laughs> That's right. Oh, well, when it's cloudy, a lot of cloudy day, maybe it helps, but slightly but better yeah. yield. Yeah. So you get 20% more of the extra of the 4.2 times, so bring it back, bring it up to five times, but also. You can see the inclination of the panel at the moment. It's winter, so so they are on 46 degrees inclination from zero. Zero is up there, so 46 degrees of the, like there because the sun at the moment is averaging 46 degrees for two for four months because of the. Winter solstice, you know, it goes two and a half, uh, two months plus two months from the equinox. Yes. So nearly four months. So you readjust the panels four times a year, roughly, to yeah. get the maximum yield. Yes, you can do it twice a year. You just do do uh, winter solstice and then summer solstice because summer solstice, the the sun is exactly at noon, of course, at noon is exactly three degrees north mm -hmm. at noon the 23rd of december yes. the summer and in winter contrary to a lot of people think it's not 20, 23 and a half percent inclination of the that's the tilting of the earth yes but then the the change of the sun is 40 twice the inclination of the earth the 47 degrees down mm -hmm. so it's important if you can change it you yes know? now I understand you are an electrician by trade yeah so you understand how great it is to have such a nice solar farm especially in Queensland or in Australia in general mm -hmm. now oh, yes. I just want to tie this with the electric car how long it took you before you realized it's time to get one well being retired <laughs> I realized eventually uh, it was it was a kind of should say economical because of the investment is a lot of money, but I could afford it while I can still leave some money to my kids, you know. And that's when I went electric. And also, I was in, I knew the synchronous motor was a word because I studied this at school. And and that's the reason why I asked the salesman, he didn't know anything about synchronous motor, etc. Why they they got so much stats from zero, from zero, zero RPM, they got the highest performance. They mm -hmm. got the maximum torque 
before we get really technical here, so we no, get don't the go any further. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, now, what would you say to those people who are still on the fence, who have doubts about electric vehicles, or especially those who are kind of uh, hovering their finger over a reservation for Model 3 or for any other electric vehicle uh, on the market in Australia? What would you say to them? Yeah, I would say uh, getting from a normal or conventional car to an electric car is the same thing, I suppose, same as people who had horse and cart to go to first Model T Ford. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yes. Yeah, because it's day or night. Uh, it's totally silent. It has a gut like a Ferrari, you know? Uh, well, I mean, uh, the Tesla, but maybe, but even a, a, a Volt, you know? Yeah, or, or Nissan Leaf, or yeah, they still have an Eagle. Uh, they got a gut, you know? And then you can do uh, one pedal driving, which you cannot do with other car. Only if you have a manual and you go downhill, you can feel the engine who breaks the car. But in our case, when it breaks the car, it, it regenerates the power and then it gives you more 10% more range on your battery. But then also you can use this uh, regeneration by just lifting the, the pedal for for not for total break, right down to 10k it will break. On total, you only s touch your brake for emergency, red light, or final stop. And that's fantastic. And it only takes you a, a couple of hours to get used to the system. And after you convince, so there are so many different things having a, an electric car that you won't go back. Plus. There is no clutch, no gearbox, no transmission. It's the motor is bolt on the dip. So, what? How many times you look at your electric fridge, still doing some maintenance? <laughs> there is bag roll. Yes. Huh? Uh, it's just a common. It's not. It's a no-brainer. If you if you got the, if you can afford it, it's a no-brainer. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now it's a bit more expensive, but. Very soon we're gonna get flooded with South, Car South Korean, uh, Chinese, or on, on German electric car within five years. You're gonna see them very soon coming. On in, apparently in China, there are hundred manufacturer of electric cars yes. at the moment. China is amazing, guys. We have no idea what's happening in China now. No. They're producing huge number of electric buses. Mm. We have 11 of them here in Brisbane. There are some in Sydney and mm. all major airports in Australia will have soon electric oh, yes. buses. Oh, yes. uh, Byton. Byton is the company to watch out for. Mm. And uh, this is acceleration. It's the, the beginning of the curve, yes. exponential growth of electric yes. vehicles yes. on the market. We, we don't have any idea what's, how, uh, what's coming, but it's going to, uh, hopefully I'm going to be old enough to see the, the change. Because, on, oh yeah, what made me buy an electric car, you ask me? Well, I thought, well, we, I'm on boring time now, you know, because when you get over a certain age. You, you are very young still, so yeah, you have okay, plenty of time. Yeah, but I lost a lot of friends mm -hmm. on my way. When I thought, I, uh, even if you believe in the reincarnation and you come back as a fly or as an elephant, you cannot drive a, an electric car, so you don't... I want to experience what it is. On that, I saw bag it up, put the money in, and I got. But the, all my life, I never spent more than twenty thousand dollars for a new car. But this time, I thought, okay, I do it. And you love it, don't you? Oh yeah. Uh, 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 that's why my registration is Excel, E X L, every day, uh, three sixty five. Ah, now we understand your registration plate. By the way, just to clarify, Francis has a white model X on the Sunshine Coast. So if you, if you see white model X with the XL365, you know it's Francis. Uh, say hello to him, talk to him, because uh, he understands how this works. And I'm uh, really uh, blessed to have met you. We met at EV Expo Nusa, which was a great event. And uh, yeah. when Francis showed his uh, show, model X has a special feature for kind of a, like a little show of it. Get it uh, actually draws the crowds in. Oh, that's it's a, a perfect feature for, for a party or something like yeah. that. Yeah, a show. Yeah, great, great introduction to Tesla. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, no, but it's fantastic. It's so many, and then uh, you you know you exchange. Uh, you you have to talk to other people. You have to pay for uh, electric car to know what you can do now. But with the share, uh, 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 plug share, the, the super, you can go right on around Australia with an electric car. There is there is more power point in Australia than ele uh, fuel station. Yes. So everywhere somebody lives, there is power. So you can, even if it takes uh, uh, two days to fill up, <laughs> you're not gonna run out of Never. Thing. I, I'd like to give a credit to a lady we know, both know. Oh, Her yeah. name is Sylvia Wilson. Uh, she represents one of the largest Facebook groups in Australia. It's called Central Queensland Tesla Interest Page. And she's over 70 as well. Oh, yeah. She's completed the trip around Australia. It took her, I think, close to three months. She's done uh, 21,000 kilometers or something. And she's done it uh, mostly on uh, free recharging. It cost her $151 in, uh, in cost for uh, power in the car. So guys, mm. uh, how, how many of you have done a round, round trip around Australia for $151? <laughs> if you can beat that, please contact us. It depends what the price of the diesel. I know I yeah. remember we did from here to Darwin. It was, uh, luckily, we were sharing the by the four, cost. Mm -hmm. but yeah. It's, it's the same price plus the plane together. Oh yeah. yeah. So now, now it's the best time now when I look at the fuel stations and the prices, how they culminate all the way to dollar eighty per liter. I'm thinking it's the best times and uh, not having to stop at petrol station, of course. Mm. Francis, yes. thank you very much uh, no, for today. Uh, it's been a great uh, talk with you, and we hope to see you again. Uh, we would like to guys encourage you to visit. EV Expo in Brisbane in November. We'll put the dates here below. And also there will be an event of electric vehicle rally uh, at the Railway Museum in Ipswich on the 18th of August. We look forward to seeing you live at our future events. Bye bye. Thank you very much, Roger. It's really interesting. Thank you.